Welcome, I'm Deo, your host representing Dijo IT Solutions. This is the very first video on a series we're working on about PHP real world application. You might be wondering, how different is this going to be? Or why even create this series? Well, that is to be answered right after this. Years back when I had just started learning PHP, I came over to this very platform, YouTube, took on a few PHP courses, but all they would teach was loops, functions, classes, and all that. After these courses, I was left nowhere. I could not do anything with the content they had provided me. So I just knew that the if statements, the conditions, but I could not use them practically. I could not apply them in the real world. This is our main theme in this series. So if you're facing the same problem, friends, you're in the right place. We are going to back up just a little though, because we don't know who got stuck where. And there also might be some newbies, absolute beginners that want to start up with this series and follow up the whole course about PHP. That's why we've decided to back up just a little. So we are going to start from scratch. And by that I mean we are going to cover the installation of PHP uh, with ZAMP, obviously. And we are also to run a very popular line almost every program has ever written. Hello world. The other reason is people think that to build a project or to get started with a programming language, you have to be a master at it. That to build a project, let's say with PHP, you have to be a master at PHP. You have to know almost everything, which is not the case. And I'm going to prove them wrong within this series by building projects, a few simple, simple projects with the little code that we shall have learned. I think by the fifth, by the fifth or fourth episode, we shall build, we shall build a small project according to the content that we shall have covered. So we shall be building some simple, simple projects on the way to help you get the whole concept. So I think we shall cover even a little bit of database, which is MySQL, and just a little bit of HTML for those who have no idea about them. Because to come up with a project with PHP, you have to know just, just a little bit about those two. And if they are interested, they will go a little deeper. Perhaps even this channel will teach about them deeper after this series. I'm also going to show you how to be creative with the little code you have so that you can stop cramming code. Some people cram lines of code, like for example, they go to YouTube, they take they take a course or, or watch a tutorial about, let's say, uh, user registration or login, and then they cram that. They even sometimes write it somewhere so that whenever they are creating a user registration form, they go and reference it all the time. But programming is dynamic. You just have to think of a problem and how to solve it. Then come up with all the scopes that you need. Uh, for example, conditional statements, the, the, you know, the variables, the classes, if you need them. You just have to know how to play with the little code you have to come up with a project. That and more is to be covered here. So stick around, more is coming. In this episode, since we still have some time, let's cover the definition of PHP. PHP is a hypertext preprocessor. It is a server-side language. Uh, it's a scripting language that is widely used for web development. It can be embedded within HTML. So how it works is HTML is used as uh, is used to create GUIs. What you see outside here is created with HTML and then PHP builds the back end. We are going to see all this practically. No worries. Among the biggest platforms that we have that were built with PHP is Facebook, WordPress, and many more others. Okay, let's also talk about the text editors. Text editors are applications that are used to write code. Here is a list of free text editors that you can use to edit PHP. There's PHP Storm, Notepad++, NetBeans, Atom, Commando Edit. For my case, I use Dreamweaver, CSS6, it's an Adobe product, it's not free, but the other list I've given you above is free. So download those and uh, in the next chapter we shall install ZAMP and then run our Hello World. That shall all be done in the next chapter. Anyway, for now, that's it for today. Uh, fellas, I'm kind of new here at YouTube, so I 
I'm asking for your support. Please, please, please subscribe. Subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, hit the notification button so that you don't miss out on the future videos that I'm going to upload on this series actually that we're going to be uploading click the unlike button if you don't like the video drop your comment down in the comment section ask me anything anything just try me out anyway that's it for today fellas uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video it's Dale your host representing DJ IT solutions bye bye